I'm Raymond Ong, CEO and Chief Engineer of Rayfish Footwear. I'm here to talk to you about the new era of bio-customization. But first, let me tell you a story about craftsmanship. My grandfather was a craftsman. Actually, he started out as a fisherman. And in his day, any part of the fish was considered valuable and useful. Even the skins were used uh, and tanned to make beautiful leather products. This is how my grandfather specialized, and he became a shoemaker, creating handcrafted leather shoes from stingray leather. And today, our family company still crafts unique leather shoes from genuine stingray leather, which is actually 10 times stronger than ordinary cow leather. Now, such craftsmanship is has become rare. Nowadays, everything is mass-produced. A classic example of mass production is the Ford Model T, of which Henry Ford used to say, any customer can have a car painted in any color, as long as it is black. The shoe equivalent of the Ford Model T is perhaps the all-star Converse basketball shoe, one of the most successful shoes ever made. Yet. Obviously, they're quite old-fashioned nowadays. Nowadays, people want something more personal. Having the same shoes as everyone else is boring. The era of mass production is over. We've entered the era of mass customization, which means that end users personalize their products before they're made. So you can customize your bicycle, your skateboard, and of course, also your shoes. So I can now determine online the properties of my shoes. More pink? No. More black? Some green, maybe? Well, although this is nice, it is still very limited. I'm basically checking some boxes in the interface, that's it. I believe that we're moving from mass-customized products to bio-customized products which means that customers can grow their own products according to their own personal desire. And it is my vision that people grow their own sneakers. I want to take the beauty and the variety of nature itself in order to create a unique product. Now, how does this work? Allow me to explain. If you look at the patterns existing on animals in nature, you see beauty and an enormously rich variety. Yet, we also see some similarities and returning patterns which are the result from an overlap in the genetic code of the DNA of the animals. Now, imagine that we're able to decode the genetic algorithms that define the skin patterns. This would allow us to resample and remix existing patterns into something that nature itself couldn't have imagined. Like, for example, this combination of a zebra and a horse, which was created with traditional breeding techniques. Well, today I'm here to tell you that my engineering team has taken this to the next level. In 2010, we managed to create our first transgenic stingray with a pattern of a snake. Soon after, we had the whole code cracked and other patterns followed. So, now perhaps you can already guess the business plan of our company. Let me show you. Great. You can now get a unique, uniquely personalized sneaker grown from a stingray that you designed and that was especially bred for you. Now, that is bio-customization. Okay, let me show you how the interface on our website works. 
You can basically drop any pattern from our existing database of patterns and combine them into something truly unique. Some green, maybe. I want to show you some examples. So, this is bio customization. This is how you grow your own shoe. Thank you. <laughs>